These are my Europa match day two predictions and betting tips. Guys, I just want to say a massive thank you. By now, we would have hit 50,000 subscribers on the channel. So thank you so much for all your guys' love and support. We are going to try and hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're going to be up in the content. We're going to be posting more regularly to try and hit that massive number. So if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave this video a like so it can push it out into the algorithm and leave your predictions down in the comments. Let's get in to the first prediction. Just before we do that, I do want to tell you guys that we got 12 out of 16 of the betting tips correct in last week's Europa video. So let's get into the first fixture now. Baka Topolo taking on Olympicas. Now Topolo coming off a 3-1 loss against West Ham. West Ham dominated like we thought they would, but they struggled a little bit in the first half. Topolo had a 1-0 lead up until the 60, 66th minute when the wheels came off. They're also coming off a 1-1 draw in the Serbian league. Then Olympikos okay, coming off a 3-2 loss to Freiburg in match day one. Olympikos actually created more chances, but just weren't clinical enough to take the win there. They will be a dangerous team in this group. They're coming off uh, three back-to-back -back wins in the Greek league, scoring 11 goals and only conceding one. They are going to be dangerous. For me, I'm going for a 3-1 Olympicus win and my betting tip is Olympicus to win. Next up, we got Aris Limassol taking on the Rangers. Now, Limassol coming off a 3-2 loss against Sparta, Prague, where they simply just got outplayed. They're also coming off a draw and a home loss in the Cyprus League, where Rangers are coming off a massive, massive 1-0 win over Real Betis. That is such a big win for Rangers in the context of this group. They're also coming off two wins and a loss to Aberdeen at home in the Scottish Premiership. Not a great, not the greatest performance against Aberdeen, but I do think they're going to have enough to get over the line here. For me, I'm going for a 2-1 Rangers win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we've got Athens taking on Ajax. This is a massive, massive game in the context of this group. Athens coming off an, a massive, massive 3-2 win over Brighton away from home. The only goals that Brighton scored in that game were penalties, and Athens are also coming off two wins in the Greek League. So they are in very, very good form at the moment. Where Ajax coming off a 3-3 draw against Marseille, where Marseille actually dominated most of the game and probably should have won it. And then Ajax are also coming off a 4-0 loss to Feyenoord at home. So Ajax not in great form at the moment. They're winless in their last five games, and I think Athens are going to have enough to put Ajax away here. I'm going for a 3-1 Athens win. My betting tip is Athens to win. Next up, we got Real Betis taking on Sparta Prague. Now, Real Betis coming off that 1-0 loss against Rangers. That was always going to be a very, very tight game. And to be fair to Real Betis, they probably just came out on the wrong end. They're coming off two draws against Cadiz and Granada and a win over Valencia in La Liga since that game. They haven't been in the greatest of forms this season, but their home record is decent. Where Sparta Prague coming off a 3-2 win against Limassol. And to be fair, uh, Prague absolutely dominated that game. Limassol only had three shots on target the entire game. And uh, Prague also coming off two wins and a draw in the Czech Republic League. So both teams in decent form. I do think Real Betis are the better side, especially at home. So for me, I'm going for a clinical 2-0 Real Betis win. And my betting tip is Real Betis to win. <laughs> Next up, we got a massive game. Sporting taking on Atalanta. Now, Sporting coming off a 2-1 win against Stramgras in Austria away from home. They absolutely controlled the game. They controlled it very, very nicely. Left it very, very late in the game to come back and win it from 1-0 down. They won't want to make a habit of that. They're also coming off two solid wins in the Portuguese league, where Atalanta coming off a 2-0 win over Rakao. Absolutely dominated the game and probably should have got two or three goals more. They've also been in very, very decent form in the Serie A, coming off two wins and a draw. This is going to be an absolute heater game. I'm expecting opportunities at both ends, goals at both ends. So I'm going for a 2-2 draw. My betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got Rakao taking on Stramgras. Now, Rakao coming off that 2-0 loss against Atalanta that we spoke about, got completely outplayed, only managed three shots uh, compared to Atalanta's 29 shots in that game. They're also coming off two wins and a loss 
uh, in their league, scoring nine goals but conceding seven. So definitely have some defensive issues. Then Stromgratz, that 2-1 loss to Sporting, they were 1-0 up with 15 minutes to go in that game. Even though they weren't the better team on the game, I think they will be disappointed that they couldn't uh, even hold on to a draw. They're coming off a draw in two wins in Austria. I think Stramgras are the favorite side here and probably should come out with a win. I'm going for a 2-1 Stramgras win, but my betting tip is Stramgras to win or draw. <laughs> Next up, we got another massive game. Freiburg taking on West Ham. Now, Freiburg coming off that 3-2 win over Olympicas was a very, very tight game. And they managed to clinch it in the 86th minute. They're also coming off a 0-0 draw against Frankfurt in the Bundesliga and a win over Augsburg, where West Ham coming off that 3-1 win uh, against Baka Topolo, where they came back from 1-0 down in the second half, scoring all three of those goals in what was a dominant performance. West Ham should have always won that game. They've been in very, very good form in the Premier League as well. This is going to be a tight one. I think West Ham are probably the more informed side at the moment, even though they're traveling away. I'm going to go for a 3-2 West Ham win, but my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Another massive game, Marseille taking on Brighton. Marseille, we spoke about their 3-3 draw against Ajax, where they probably should have won that game, but they haven't been in great form in their domestic league. Losing 4-0 to PSG and a 3-2 loss to Monaco. Uh, and then Brighton also haven't been in great form. 3-2 loss to Athens in a game that they definitely should have won. And then they're coming off a 1-0 loss to Chelsea in the EFL Cup and they've just got absolutely hammered 6-1 by Aston Villa in the Premier League. These are two sides that are very, very good sides but just aren't in great form in their last couple of games. This one could honestly go any way, any way um, and I do think it's going to be high scoring. I'm going for a 2-2 draw but my betting tip is over 2.5 goals. <laughs> Next up, we got Slavia Praha taking on Sheriff. Now, Slavia Praha coming off a 2-0 win over Soveta, which was a very even game, but Slavia Praha were just way more clinical with their opportunities. They're also coming off two draws and a win in the Czech Republic League. They're unbeaten in their last six games now. So a team in very, very good form at the moment. And then Sheriff, we saw them push Roma all the way uh, last weekend or last week, when they lost 2-1 to Roma at home. It was a very, very tight game. Lukaku making the difference in the second half. Sheriff also coming off two wins in Moldova, scoring five goals and conceding two. Now, Sheriff on a bad side. Slavia Praha in very, very good form at the moment. This one could go either way. I do think it's going to be a draw. I'm going for a 1-1 draw, but my betting tip is Sheriff at a handicap of plus one and a half. <laughs> Next up, we got Hacken taking on Karabakh. Now, Hacken coming off a 4-0 loss against Bayer Leverkusen. To be fair to them, they just came up against a very, very informed Bayer Leverkusen side. They're also coming off one loss and two wins in Sweden, where Karabakh are coming off a 1-0 win over Molde. Uh, controlled the majority of the game and created the better chances, which is probably why they ended up winning the game. I thought it should have maybe ended in a draw, but nevertheless, they're also coming off two wins in Azerbaijan where they scored seven goals and only conceded one. I do think this is actually going to be quite a high scoring game. Both of these teams are very, very attacking and I do think they're on the same level. So for me, I'm going for a 2-2 draw and my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Next up, we got Roma taking on Soveta. Now, we spoke about Roma's 2-1 win over Sheriff with Romeo Lukaku scoring that uh, winning goal in the second half. They're coming off a draw to Torino, a 4-1 loss to Genoa, and a 2-0 win at home. So a team that's in decent form and very, very difficult to beat at home. I've actually watched Roma at home in Rome. Then Soveta coming off a 2-0 loss. Um, they will be disappointed with, with that result because I think they did create enough chances but just didn't take them. They're also coming off a loss, a draw, and a win in Switzerland. I definitely think Roma are favorites here and should get the job done pretty convincingly. Going for a 3-0 Roma win, and my betting tip is Roma at a handicap of minus 1.5. <laughs> Next up, we got Virial taking on Ren. Now, Virial are coming off a 2 0 loss against Panathiakos. Simply, they got outplayed in that game. Virial only managed one shot on target. They're also coming off two draws and a loss in the league and have only scored two goals in their last four games. So, Virial really not looking like a good side at the moment. Then, Ren coming off a massive 3 0 win over Maccabi Haifa. They absolutely dominated the game and probably should have scored a couple more goals. They're coming off a draw 
and a win. And I think this might be tight, but I do think Ren have a possibility here of upsetting Villarreal at home. I'm going for a 2-1 Ren win, and my betting tip is Ren to win or draw. Next up, we got Toulouse taking on Lask. Now, Toulouse coming off a 1-1 draw against Union. SG was a very tight game, but Toulouse did give away a 1-0 lead. They're also coming off a 2-1 loss against Lance and a win over Mets. Now, Lask, a 1-3 loss to Liverpool. It's always going to be a very, very difficult game coming up against that Liverpool side. To be fair to them, they went into halftime 1-0 up and then just couldn't hold on to that lead. They're also coming off a draw, a win and a loss in Austria. I definitely think Toulouse are favourites here to take it. I'm going for a 2-1 Toulouse win and my betting tip is Toulouse to win. <laughs> Next up, we got Liverpool taking on Union SG. We just spoke about Liverpool's 3-1 win over Lask, where they came back in the second half. Mo Salah, Darwin, Nunez and Diaz all getting goals. They've also been in phenomenal form in the Premier League, suffering a 2-1 loss to Tottenham over the weekend. But that was a very, very controversial game. Liverpool got two red cards. There was a disallowed goal. Um, so that definitely could have been a draw uh, if the VAR got the decisions right. Then Union SG coming off that 1-1 draw against Toulouse. Arguably played the better game but just didn't take their chances. And they're also coming off three straight wins in the Belgium League. Look, it's always going to be difficult to beat Liverpool at Anfield. I'm going for a 3-1 Liverpool win. And my betting tip is Liverpool at a handicap of minus one and a half. <laughs> Next up, we got Maccabi Haifa taking on Panathiokos. Now, Maccabi Haifa coming off that 3-0 loss against Rennes, where they got absolutely dominated. The Panathiokos coming off a big 2-0 win over Villarreal. Now, Maccabi Haifa are always going to be very, very difficult to beat at home. While Pan Panathiokos are probably favorites going into this one, it could honestly go either way. I'm going for a 1-1 draw, and my betting tip is both teams to score. <laughs> Then lastly, we've got Mulder taking on Bayer Leverkusen. Now look, Bayer Leverkusen are in great form at the moment. Mulder coming off that 1-0 loss against Karabakh, where they placed, played a decent game and probably should have got a goal or two. But I don't think Bayer Leverkusen is going to give them that same opportunity. Leverkusen coming off that 4-0 win over Hacken. They've been in absolutely phenomenal form in the Bundesliga. Coming off two big wins. They're unbeaten in their last 11 games. And I don't see them slipping up here. I'm going for a 3-0 Bayer Leverkusen win. My betting tip is Bayer Leverkusen to win. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Literally while I'm filming a video. Boo yaka sha.